Climate Field View has added a new manual scripting option for crop protection products. This video will show you how the new crop protection scripting tool works. But before we dive in, it's important that you know how to change the units of measure that your account is using. To do so, we're going to click Settings in the upper right hand corner and then select Account. Towards the center of my screen, you can see an area where we can change the units of measure. Mine is currently defaulted to Canada, but I'm going to change it to Imperial. And the reason I'm doing this is that I'm creating a prescription for a liquid product and I want to see that show up in gallons per acre rather than liters per hectare. I'm going to go to the bottom and save that change. Then I'm going to click on the prescriptions icon here at the top to access the crop protection scripting tool. First, I'm going to select the field that I want to create my script for. I'm going to create it for this back 30 field. Then I'm going to select protection across the top. And you can see that I've created a prescription in here before, but if you have not, this section will be blank. Towards the bottom, I'll select create a new prescription and then start beside manual crop protection prescription. I have the option of drawing my own zones or uploading an existing shapefile to use those. But for today, I'm just going to draw my own zones. On this form, I'm going to decide between a fungicide, herbicide, insecticide, or growth regulator. And today we're going to create a prescription for ProLine. So I'll type that in and select it from the list. And then across the bottom, I have the option to change the prescription file name if I wish. Otherwise, it'll default to the name of the field, the name of the product, and the date. I'll select Finish an Editor, and this is where I can begin actually creating the prescription. We can bring in various background maps in order to begin creating our script. And I'll do that by clicking Change Map here in the bottom corner and selecting More Maps. This will pull in all the maps that I have in my account for this season. For this specific field, we just have satellite imagery, and I'm going to pull up some vegetation maps. And I think the one I want to use is this June 5th map from this year. I'll select Done to select that map, and then I will start using some of the tools here across the top to actually create the script. First, I'll click the drop down on Draw and select either a polygon, square, or pivot. Polygon is typically what I would recommend to use. To begin drawing a new zone, I'll just start going around the area that I want to create a separate zone for. And once I'm done, it asks me to just click the first point to close the shape and then hit save. And you can see that I now have two separate zones. Zone one is the area that I just created and zone two is the remainder of the field. We always recommend using labeled rates. And so I'm gonna create a fully on or off script for this field. So for zone one, because there's less biomass there, I'm going to put zero gallons per acre there. And in zone two, I'm going to put 10 gallons per acre. That's all I'm going to do for this field, but if you wanted to add more zones, you of course would go ahead and do that. Once I'm happy with my script, I'll select save in the upper right hand corner. And then when I'm ready to, I can export that file in whatever file type I want. There's a, dro a drop down here where I can change the file type that I want to have. It can be any of the ones from the list, but for this example, I'm just going to create a generic shape file. Once I've selected that, I hit download and it'll download this prescription to my computer where I can then put it on a USB stick and upload it to my monitor. If you have any questions about our new crop protection scripting tool, please do reach out to any of your local representatives or call our 1-800 number or visit climatefieldview.ca. We hope you enjoy this new tool.